Videos Den Ramon, number 223. Catalan Vault. How to build a four-point vault, with fine bricks, placed on the side of the face and with quick setting, cement, attached to two walls and supported by stone columns. Video created and owned by Ramon de Guadarai Parera. Traditional official bricklayer first class. Construction technician. Member of the National Network of Traditional Construction Masters. Simplified demonstration of the entire construction process. Before building a vault, the first thing to do is a preliminary study of the place to build it. Verify if the supports are solid enough. If you have to create them in a new construction, think that they must be of maximum resistance to counteract the thrust of the vault. Not always the place chosen to build the vault is the most appropriate. The supports of the vault are new construction. You can see the inclination of the column, as has been mentioned before, to counteract the thrust of the vault. The columns are finished and ready to make the arcs that will frame the vault. In the side walls it is not necessary to make furrows so that the fine bricks, which will form the vault, enter them. It is enough that these are delivered to the side walls without any support. In this vault model the effort is only transmitted to the angles and, therefore, it is called a four-point vault. To build the arches you have to place the templates, with their wedges, in the supports. This allows us to adjust the height and make it easier, when finishing, to remove the templates. Detail of how to put the wedges in the supports of the templates. This is the cement that we are going to use to join the bricks of the first layer of the arches and the vault. Demonstration of the manual kneading of quick setting cement. As you can see, it is necessary to go stirring, making sure there are no lumps, until it is well mixed. It is always good to leave some water in the area opposite the cement. For the construction of the arches and the second and third layers of the vault we will use these bricks of 28x13.5x3 cm. In these images we are cementing the brick with quick setting cement to place it in the first row of the arch. Portland cement. sand that is mixed with Portland cement to make the mortar. I have already prepared the container to make the mortar. The proportion of the mixture will be 3 sand by 1 cement. The mortar is ready to use. We are placing the second row of the arch with Portland cement mortar. It is necessary to settle the brick well by pressing with the hand and remove the excess mortar. The arcs already finished. Now we will place the templates to build the vault. The two walls are not at 90 degrees, which is an additional problem that we will solve at the beginning of the construction of the vault. The templates are already placed to start placing the fine brick. Fine brick submerged in water. We will place these fine bricks with relief, 28x13.5x2 cm, with quick setting cement in the first layer. 
When the template is transferred it is necessary to place it completely vertically again. This system of placing fine bricks is called in spike. In the image the bricks are placed diagonally at 45 degrees. How can you see? I have already solved the mismatch between the two walls. It is important to mark the tips of the bricks on the template. These marks serve as a guide for the placement of the next row of bricks and so that all the tips are aligned in the same direction. The operator places a thin brick with its corresponding quick-setting cement. He gives some touches to the brick with the trowel to press it with the existing ones. Then he removes the remaining material and fill the joints if there are gaps in them. To avoid working with the first layer, it is convenient to advance with the two layers at the same time. As we have already seen, in the first layer the bricks are placed with quick setting cement. However, in the second layer we used Portland cement mortar. In this second layer the mortar must be well spread and rubbed on the base. Mortar should also be placed on the sides. When putting the bricks and pressing it, the mortar comes out through them, filling the joints. The thickness of the mortar between the two layers cannot be less than 1 cm. Here we can see how the water is poured over the mortar and how to distribute it to facilitate its adhesion to the base. The mortar is ready to place the brick. When the brick is placed, at the same time that it is pressed, an oscillation movement is made. This causes the mortar to overflow the sides and fill them. If there is a failure in the filling, it is corrected with the remaining material. Detail of the placement of bricks in spike at 90 degrees, so that the joints do not coincide with those of the first layer. Image taken from profile from your right. Image seen from the front, showing the difference in placement between the first and second layer. Detail in which you can see how the tips of the brick match the marks of the template. In this picture we are checking the distances for the adjustment of the next row of bricks, using half a brick. First section of the vault seen from the bottom side. Before starting another section, it is essential to keep the area moist for a good adhesion of the fast cement. We have already kneaded the quick setting cement. We are going to place a brick, which we had previously cut, so that it fits with the arch. We put cement in two edges of the brick and also in the arch. When the brick is already embedded between the already placed bricks and the arch, we give it some touches with the trowel to adjust it and we try to align it. When the bricks are too wet, it is sometimes necessary to add cement powder in the joints. This accelerates the setting of the material. To get a perfect finish, before putting the brick you should always check that its edges are not damaged.
when they are placed. You must put your hand under the brick to hold it and verify that it is at the same level as the previous bricks. Subsequently, it is given a few small strokes with the trowel to adjust it completely. Finally, the excess cement is removed with the trowel. We continue placing the fine bricks, cementing the edges. It is necessary to be careful to avoid leaving protrusions and get the bricks that we put are well aligned with the pieces already placed. Here we can see a small projection that we will cover by increasing the thickness of the joint. It is convenient to have a space where you can put cement in case we have a leftover at any given time. It is a good technique to present the brick before cementing it to check that it fits well with the bricks that are placed. We continue laying wet and cemented bricks to the end of the row. With this system, you have to make the complete lines one by one to make them fit. Avoid gaps that make the placement of subsequent pieces more difficult. The row of bricks must be placed until the end of it. Subsequently, the next row from where the previous row ended should start. Do not start the next row from the same place where the previous row started. This would result in holes remaining, complicating the placement of the pieces. When the vault is constructed so that the lower face is seen, that is to say uncoated, the placement of the bricks must be done with the maximum perfection and mastery. Every person or official who wants to build a partitioned vault must know how to cement in Catalan at the brick. By placing this brick it is seen that it forms a small, saw tooth, with the brick that was already placed. To eliminate it, you must move the brick outwards to align it with the brick of the previous row. We have already reached the center of the vault. The bricks of this last row that have already been placed, immobilize the template in its correct position. Now you can remove these pieces from the center that, until now, kept that template fixed. It is a good habit to check, with the false square graduated at 45 degrees, the direction of the bricks. With this, the bricks are perfectly aligned. Throughout the construction process for the realization of the vault, you have seen how comfortable it is to work with a template. Although it is always necessary to work with the precautions listed in this video.
bottom view of the rough vault, ready to clean. Demonstration of the technique of cleaning the joints. This can be done the next day or at the end of the day, because if it is done with the still tender material the brick is dirty. In fact, if you go carefully, you could do with the material still tender and it would cost less. In any case, if you strike with the edge of the trowel placed in a flat position, the cement that is left over comes off well. After removing the excess cement, fill all the holes that may have been in the joints. Clean vault, almost finished. Now it is necessary to remove the templates from the sides. We will place these small pieces, to continue the second layer. The base must be well moistened in order to continue with the second layer. Remember that bricks 3 cm thick are used in the second layer and placed with Portland cement mortar. Base and well moistened bricks continued with the process of making the second layer. image in which you can see how the vault is already closing. Images that show the final result of our construction of a four-point vault. The end. Created and owned of Ramon Guadra I Parera. Year 2019. 08328 Alela. Barcelona. Catalunya. Spain.